not have known. Few as a fact do. But lives a tiny little folk found inside your pocket, in the face of your clock, no smaller than a sprocket. Our story begins at house number 5452, where Mr. Fassenpot lives. A very simple life, it's true. He doesn't have much to his name. He wishes he was somebody, to one day be great is his aim. Every day on his way to work, Mr. Fassenpot looks up to the 11 o'clock tower, where the mayor and his tall-hatted, important sprockets work, and he feels somewhat insignificant. He feels he doesn't count. The size of his hat is not great, and the job he has is nothing special. He feels bottom rate. Yoo-hoo! What did I forget this morning? You've got your hat. It's on my head. And your coat. On my back. And your tape measure. In your hand. Catch! Thanks. Bye, don't be late. I won't be late. I'll be waiting. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Mayor. Let me put your hat. Are you here too? Are, Are you alright? Is that okay? Hmm, his main sprocket is sprung. <clears throat> Are you alright, Mr. Mayor? Don't worry about it. No harm done. Okay, bye! Here we are. I would actually recommend... Hey! I was wondering when you were going to show up. Well, I ran into a little obstacle. Don't worry about it. By the way, there's a new shipment of boxes that just came in for you this morning. I already put them in the back for you. Right on it, Chief. That's... a lot of boxes. What do we have in here? Mm, two... two and a half. Two and a half. Now, let's see where you go. 9101. Here we are, 9101. As Mr. Fassenpot worked the entire night through, close by the 11 o'clock tower, the date on the main gear was about to become due. The gear itself had just become too old and cracked. Right down the middle, unfortunately, they threw away the original mold. Hello? It's way past closing time. Are you planning on taking residence in one of those boxes back there? Well, I don't know. This one here looks pretty cozy. Well, just lock up when you leave. I'm going home. Don't worry. I'm gone as soon as I take out these old parts. Hello. What do we have in here? 227? Whoa, this type hasn't been made in ages. Well, I guess you won't be needed anymore. Do as we say. Get moving, we don't have all night. 
Um, you wanted to see me, sir? Whew. You're here. Look, if this is about before, I'm really sorry. I wasn't looking- Oh no, you did a great job fixing me up. I've never felt so in tune. Well, it was nothing, really. I do stuff like that all the time. Really? Uh, yeah. Great! Then, you wouldn't mind doing it again? Sure, but I thought you said you felt fine. Well, it's not exactly for me. Let me show you. Okay, let's go. So, what's going on? We better hurry, it could be too late. Okay, what's happening? Widget! <laughs> yes, sir. How does it look? If the crack gets any worse, the whole gear could explode. If we don't get the gear fixed, the whole clock will stop throwing the city into a state of chaos. But worse than that, the gear is so old, its model hasn't been made in years. And it may be the only one left. And nothing's ever needed repairing before, so nobody knows how to fix anything. Could you have a look at it? Oh! Okay. Great. Show him the gear. Yes, sir. Two two seven. Hey, I just saw one of these same gears in my shop. I think I can replace it. Go get it then. Mm, where is it? Where is it? Aha! Two two seven. Here it is. Whew. How much time do you think we have? Well, according to the pressure on the crack, a few seconds. Can you do it? I'll try. You've got to switch the two gears at the exact second, or the clock will stop. Here I go! For saving the city, I present you with a lot of money! Now you can improve your life! can't accept this. I realized that all I wanted I already had, and that I've been doing something important all along. Oh, do you want anything? Nope. A new car. What for? A, a new hat. You want a great big new hat. Can I just have my old hat back? Uh, okay. Give him his hat, give him his hat. For wealth he chose not. He knows it comes and it goes. But Mr. Fassenpot is satisfied. He's achieved his life's goal. And discovered that all he ever wanted he already had. And now he can go home peacefully. Never again will Mr. Fassenpot be sad. Oh my gosh, look at the time. Okay, bye. <laughs> Our story is over, and so now that you know, I just ask you one favor. Always remember that, even a little sprocket counts, no matter how grand the hat.